Hello, I'm Lisa Peter, and today is the day of Rosh Hashanah. Or actually, our calendar says tomorrow is, but we're celebrating it. It's a Jewish holiday, which we are not Jewish. But as I was um, thinking about, uh, I, w I was looking up, researching what it meant, and it's the Jewish New Year. It's a very high. It's not one of the highest holy days, but it's a, it's one of the high, uh, holy days of the Jew Jews, and so. I've already made up my mind to give my newest granddaughter, Emily, a little Bible today. And we, um, we've we done some other things. I'm going to have apples and honey and different things. But as I was walking through the uh, yard and praying, I'm like, we're not Jewish. Why are we going to celebrate a Jewish holiday? Now I go, like, we celebrate Christmas. I'm like, Christmas is not a Jewish holiday. But then Jesus, Jesus is what Christmas is all about. And he's the greatest Jew that ever was. Um, and um, so we celebrate Christmas and Easter. But today we're doing Rosh Hashanah just for the fact that I just had a pergola built, brush arbor. And uh, next Sunday we're going to dedicate that to the Lord. It's already, I mean, uh, we was going to do it today, but my husband told me to hold off on that because um, he, he wants to do something. He's got something special planned. So anyway, we're going to do that next Sunday. But today I've got this little Bible and I'm going to put on here, presented to Emily. If my pen writes, Emma Dash Lee, and her middle name is Rose, and her last name is Nick. And today's date is September the 29th. 2019. So I wanted y'all to be witnesses that I signed that to her. And um, it's just the New Testament, Proverbs, and Psalms. But I'm going to give that to her because I gave her brothers and sisters um, and my other grandchildren a Bible um, a few years ago. It actually was been right, three years ago because Raylan was just a newborn baby. And I gave them all. A Bible then. So I'm going to give that to her. But I'm going to share that But real quick. Oh, we also got a new instrument, which I knew it by some other name when I was growing up. This is called a kibasa. And I was looking, I'm like, kibasa, is that a Jewish instrument? Do they use this? And we know it's used a lot in Latin and a lot of different, a lot of different foreign countries. But I don't know for sure if it's been used in the Jewish um, music or not. I never did find anything about that. But I found out that the person who invented this, um, this particular instrument, um, the brand I had, but his name was, um, I believe his first name was Martin. I think it was Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N, last name Cohen, C-O-H-E-N, which I thought that was really unusual because even though that doesn't say that he was a Jew, just a few weeks ago we studied about that song, Hallelujah, that was written by Leonard Cohen, and he was a Jew. And so anyway, they still have a Jewish background. It's amazing how things like this works. And I bought some hydrangea, some silk hydrangea to decorate my pergola with. And I was looking, what did, what did I use to decorate for Rosh Hashanah? <laughs> Hydrangeas and sunflowers and roses. Um, but I was, that was neat because I didn't have that plant. I didn't know that. And I'm going to have apples and honey today. Uh, that's something that they need to celebrate. And we're going to have a roast. I think they actually use brisket usually, but we're going to have roast. And um, beets. Um, they have, we're not going to do everything that they do because they have fish with the head because something about heads <laughs> goes along with Rosh Hashanah. We're going to skip the head part. But we're going to have some tuna fish, I think. I haven't made it yet, but um, we usually have tuna fish on tuna fish salad on Sundays. But anyway, that's a little bit what we're going to do today. And I do have something else for Israel. Israel. We're celebrating the nation of Israel on our Jewish holiday. My grandson, Israel, he turned 10 this week, and we did celebrate him. We celebrated his birthday all week long. So if you're listening, Israel, I didn't mean to say Israel when I was trying to talk about Jeremiah. But it, we can talk about Israel, too, because it was his birthday. So happy birthday, Israel, if you're listening. And uh, my chair. And in here, I got something for my grandchildren, Aiden and Jeremiah, because they live at my house. And they're little crosses, and they say, the greatest of these is love. And I thought, that's a perfect thing. When I bought these, I didn't know that we was going to 
have this little celebration thing, but we'll give those to them as well. So, uh, oh, Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year. Did I say that? It's their holiday for the New Year, New Beginnings. And so, even though our New Year is January the 1st in America, I think that we should have New Beginnings all the time. It's almost going to be October, which is a new month. It's going to be on Monday, tomorrow's Monday, which is a, a new day of the week. So every morning His mercies are new, so we should celebrate. We should celebrate Jesus every day. So anyway, that's a little bit about us and what we're doing today and Rosh Hashanah. And I tried to remember they said another word that I'm supposed to say in, in Hebrew, but I can't remember what it was. But I can say Jesus. I can say Jesus Cristo es la mejor que me ha pasado a mí. That's in Spanish. Jesus is the greatest thing that ever happened to me.